Hey guys, welcome again on another video for the Nassan restoration and uh, today I made a few smaller parts that still need to go on the cradle for a uh, traverse part. Uh, I'm going to show you that now. Another part to be made are these for clamping the trunnion, the, the, the bearing for the trunnion. So I have a bottom part and a top part. The top part has two holes in it. And the bottom part uh, will get, well, this is the bottom part uh, with threaded holes. And this is just a big hole for the bolt to go through. I have the semicircles already. And I need uh, 16 millimeter thick fringes. And they will be welded, the bottom part will be welded in like this. And then uh, you place uh, the trunnion into it uh, with the bearings and then clamp it on with the other half. And here you can see these two, they are still loose on it. Um, these are the brackets for holding the bearings for the trunnion. And they will be in about this angle. Uh, I welded them together for now, I still need to drill the holes. But if I do it like this, the drilling, then I'm sure the holes are in the correct position for both parts. Plus I want to put this in the lathe so that this diameter can be turned to the correct size for the bearings. This is a small bracket of about 3 mm sheet metal with a tube attached to it. It's still a bit hot and I think it's for an uh, aiming device but not entirely sure because uh, the pack 43 I measured didn't have anything on it but yeah it obviously need to be here so if you can tell me uh, what if you know what this bracket is for then let me know down in the comments then this is another bracket, uh, probably for the, the wheel for elevation. Uh, there's some parts missing on the pack 43 that we measured. It still needs the groove to be milled in. And this part will sit on this side, just below that plate. So I have to cut a notch. In this side on the inner side and then I can slide it over and weld it in place. And a few smaller pieces. This will go to the guy with the lathe. I have two of these and it needs to be hollowed out. Uh, this is uh, like a cross section and the, both the shock absorbers sit in it. Positioned like that. This part is for elevation for the stop. It's welded on the back. I'll show you here. It sits here and it makes sure that uh, when the gun is elevating, it won't go too far up so that when you fire, the recoil hits the, the floor of the nose horn or it's. Yeah, it's designed for the tone pack for the tree, so I guess in a NAS horn it's, there's plenty of room, but the system stayed the same. And uh, for the pack 43, the, the tone version, it has the, the tow bars, so yeah, you could hit that when it's both in uh, traverse and elevated full. Two smaller blocks. This is 25 mm square stock and uh, drilled a hole here to cut it out and then for attaching a part so this one of them will sit on this bracket. I'm not sure if it's there like this or this but uh, I can check on the drawings and the pictures I have. And another one will sit like here. And that's for uh, like a shield that is going next to the gun when it fires that the, the, um, 
the operator won't get caught up in the recoil system and uh, the last block this is for attaching the shield and it will be welded on like this why the, the, the left and right side is different we don't know but uh, these holes are used for brackets uh, that will support the shield.